All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's Monday night, and it is almost the end of the month. What do we have? Three more days of business till the end of September. And I, I just think that tonight's topic, tonight's topic on follow-up is so important because if you spend the next three days implementing what's going to be shared tonight, I can guarantee you that you're going to uh, end the month strong. Okay, three more days. And so tonight's topic is follow up. And I have with me tonight, Familia Parker, who is going to be sharing some nuggets on follow up. But I want to tell you something about Familia. You know, um, most of you on this call, I'm looking around, know her personally. But a couple of the things that I really love about Pamelia is she embraces what I call learn to earn. And in the past, I'm going to say two years, I have watched Pamelia grow incredibly and throw herself into just this learning cycle. And I know that she is just going to blow your hair back tonight with what she's going to share. The other thing is that because of that, she's kept all of her skills current, and I respect that. And tonight, she's going to demonstrate her skills. And the other thing that I love about Camelia is that she's always asking, how can I do it better? How can I do it better? And I'm going to tell you, it serves her well. My job is to help pull up leaders. And uh, in the time of crisis, people start to show up. And uh, that's Camelia. So uh, thanks for being with us tonight, Pamelia, and thanks for sharing uh, this important topic on follow-up, and thanks for being you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Um, and she's a giver. My husband says that to me when I give him cards in Gin Rummy. I can't believe, sorry, I didn't mean to read the comments. So thank you so much, Terry. Um, you know what? You have been here for me and had my back every step of the way. And even when I took almost a year off, I was here in the background floating around when my dad got sick. But that's what I love about this community is because <clears throat> my paycheck didn't change. I still had the support. And when I was able to step back in, everything was still here. And um, you just, you make it that I want to learn. Um, and all the people in the community here. So follow-ups. Um, these, I've had two very different experiences with follow-ups this month, which made it a huge month for me. Um, and there are a few types. So the biggest one, I believe, it's the follow-up after the first introduction to the business or the product where you say, Terry's famous words, I thought of you because, or would you be so kind to watch a video and support me? Or would you jump on this call? I'm having a event. I'd love you to join me and all these great things. But you do this and sometimes the people go silent. You hear nothing and others say, oh yeah, I'd love to. And then they don't show up. And um, you know, these are the ones it's like, well, what do I do? And the stories that we make up in your head. So my personal experience with this this month, I'll tell you is I have two families. One is a woman I've known for 20 years and we lost touch and I got back in touch with her. And she kept saying, oh yeah, call me. And then I call her and I get a message later saying, oh, you know, I just got really busy and she's got this amazing site that I will send out to all of you called Womanscape um, that she's doing. And a lot of it um, aligns with um, our company, the values of our company. But I kept on going back and forth and something just said, just keep on stepping forward, forward with her. And we ended up connecting. She signed up. She and her husband both got on it. They signed up two grandchildren onto it. They got on the shakes. They're drinking them every morning. They love them. And um, I would tell you very quickly, with her, she ordered all the stuff. She was half there. And when she all of a sudden texted me and said, I'm not sure that we signed up for the right stuff and that this is what we want. And we want something for breakfast too. And we're only getting 30 shakes and I'm spending all this money and I don't. And I sent her a message and said, look, let's talk in the morning, but just know you can cancel everything if this isn't what you want. And it was the first time that I had been brave enough just to say that. 
I followed up with her in the morning and we talked and I said, this is what I heard you say. And she came back and said, that is probably what I said. And, but I want to add this onto it. And she ended up adding two more shake orders on. And normally I would have just shut down. You know, I would have been like, let's just cancel it. And I would have shut down. So it was following through, stepping through that fear. And all of this is just following up and going. The other person um, I sent information to, she went absolutely silent, didn't reply to anything that I sent back. And this, these all happened around the same time, around April. And she finally came back and I said to her, she said, the reason, or I said, when you have time, let me know and let's talk. She called me in 30 seconds and she started saying, you sent me a slide on the research that stopped me from ordering it. And I was thinking, oh my God, this woman's a researcher. And I was throwing research and slides at her thinking I had to prove something because I throwing up the juice plus, right? Because we do that sometimes. And you think you have to prove something. And she said, well, wait a minute. She goes, don't worry about it. She goes, I'm still going to order. She goes, but I just want to tell you what you might do different next time. Less is more. And um, she's still coming back and asking some research, but I was intimidated by her and I was not going to follow up with her. Um, Patrick is a friend of hers too. And I was not going to follow up with this person. And I've been dripping on her for three years. So never stop trying. Always believe in yourself. So those were the two <clears throat> and they've come in. I mean, they're huge orders this month. So I just want to let you know. And then you get the ones who you tell about it and they're like, yes, yeah, sign me up. Those are the fun ones. Um, so I know that some of you saw this video uh, last week and maybe the week before, but I always know that we learned something more the second time around. And I think Andrea Vaughn has some great nuggets, but she had said what, she, you know, and one of them that stuck out was that 48% of the Jews Plus people never follow up, right? And that 80% sign up after the fifth contact. So if we're not following up and if we're doubting ourselves, um, you know, I never would have gotten those two people to order. So I would like to share my screen <clears throat> and take a minute and um, watch a little bit of this because I really think that Andrea's got a lot to say here. So make sure you have your pen and your paper ready. And let me know, give me a thumbs up if you can hear it. And that's follow up. There's a saying in our business that the fortune is in the follow up and it's really true. It's exciting when we share information on our products or company with someone and try to educate them on the benefits, but it won't go anywhere if you don't follow up. In fact, it's quite likely that they could end up becoming somebody else's customer or prospect instead. It's also important to understand that follow-up is a process. And if you reach out with kindness and authenticity, people won't feel like you're bugging them, but they'll actually be grateful that you didn't give up on them. I know that was me. It took me several months before I decided to move forward with Juice Plus, and I'm so grateful that my friend did not give up on me. So I promise people will feel the same about you. Now, the first thing I want to teach you about follow-up is that it's your job to initiate the contact. Don't wait for a prospect to contact you. When you share information with people, they may say things like, I'll get back to you, and even have the best of intentions of doing so. But life is busy. Distractions are everywhere. Intentions are great, but they don't get results. So one of the ways you can get more comfortable with the follow-up process is by asking the right kinds of questions of people when you share information with them. Ask open-ended questions that allow you to set up an appointment for the follow-up. I like to say something like, hey, I know when you look at this information, you're gonna have some questions. How about I check back with you on Tuesday? Is that good? What time of day is best and what's the best way to reach you? What you can see is by asking in that way, you've made an agreement to a time convenient for them when you'll talk again. And as a result, you'll feel much more comfortable about reaching out. Now, one thing that's very important in this process is being a person of your word. People like to work with those that they can count on. So when you agree to a follow-up time, honor it. Mark it on your calendar, set a reminder in your phone. Being timely is really important to establishing respect and trust with that prospect relationship. And don't be surprised if you reach out at the agreed upon time, but don't connect with them. It's just part of the follow-up process. 
Remember how I said people were busy? I want to share something interesting with you. Statistics mm -hmm. indicate that 48% of people who share information on Juice Plus with another never follow up on that conversation. Yet 80% of prospects who look at information on Juice Plus get started after the fifth contact. So what does that mean? People are becoming customers. The question is quite simply, will they be your customer? You just have to be patient with them. I like to call this process pleasantly persistent and never give up on people. Now you might wanna change how you reach out to them. Maybe call one time, text another, share a resource from the Healthy Living Revolution website or a video, and definitely spread out your contacts as you go along. You don't wanna reach out to the same person five times in one week. Just show them that you're thinking of them at different times and they'll appreciate that. But that very first follow-up after you share information with them, it needs to be as soon as possible. A mentor in our business once told me that prospects are like bananas and they ripen quickly. So be diligent with a follow-up system and you will have success. Now one other important thing to know, for when you do connect with that person, the number one reason people don't get started on Juice Plus is because they aren't asked. So be sure and say something like, where do you see yourself getting started? Or which package is best for your needs? They'll let you know if they aren't ready. And if so, that's okay. A no is just not now because they don't know enough. So keep a list of those people somewhere so you can stay in touch. You could create a Facebook group for them where you share healthy, inspiring information. You could send them a new HLR cookbook when we get one or even a health article. Just remain positive and continue living our mission. There okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to stop the share there. Um, that is on the Freedom Revolution, and I can most certainly tell you where it is. But I love it because I love that she says follow up and have integrity um, instead of my old way of thinking, which is I'm just being a bother. I mean, these people have come to you and they have said, yes, I'll watch the video. Yes, call me at this time. Um, and maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but I know I make up stories in my head not to call them back and follow up. So the system that I'm using with this is Teamsy and I use it for prospects and for customers. Um, I love it because I can set up the follow-up date and I will tell you I stopped using it for a while and my follow-ups all fell off. So this is just for me. I like it on the computer. I have tried the binder with the paper which I'll show you in a minute. But because I'm always moving, I'm either on the tennis court, um, I was there just an hour ago, I'm either in tennis court, I'm at CrossFit, I'm on the paddle court, and when I meet someone, I can add the contact into the Team Z right away, and the first month is free. Um, but this way, I know what I've seen, you know, what I've said to them. But see what works best for you. I mean, what's right for some people is not right for the other. Um, so our second follow-up customer and that is our second fault that's going to be your new customer and the customer care that we spoke about this month if you missed it you're going to be so sorry that you missed it go back to the team up page go watch the video i could tell you a little bit more but it's integrated um, with the customer care and the follow-up because it all comes together your customer care is your follow-up once they become a customer and it is even before so they do have a customer care checklist um, that is on the Freedom Revolution that I'm going to share with you now because I really think the customer care and the follow-up are just so integrated. Let's see if I can get to that. I hate it when the thing is right at the top. Just give it a second because then the screen sharing goes away. Okay, come on. So the customer care, plus um, checklist. This tells you everything to do right here. Day one, day three, day five. And it says, um, I will tell you right now, just day 14, the customer portal, they are updating the site and upgrading everything, I believe for August 1st. So check back. Um, I'll let you know when it's working perfectly because I have some people looking into it. But day 21, send a video to your new customer and you're like, well, what do I send them? We're at page seven. They have everything for you here. They have the verbiage. If you go back on this customer care checklist, so you can look at day, well, day 21, you know, jumpstart to better health, 
Thank you again. We give you the verbiage. We tell you what to send. I mean, it is all duplicatable. It's all right here. Everything is here. If you go on, there's a customer profile. Now, I will tell you, I do not keep in hard copy, but I do in my team Z, they have tags and I say, I put on it, whether the person is a trio. Um, if they're on Facebook, um, I have Facebook, I have P, PFB for private Facebook, meaning that they are on the Transform 2020 page. If they like to text, um, why they ordered. I have all of this in the notes and the ones I didn't do, I'm going back and doing it when I was lacking in my customer care because I am human. And I just love the sheet, you know, may I contact you to see how you're doing? So you're going to know. And then the experience survey, which ties in, which this I do print out, the Juice Plus experience survey, it's all right there. I pick up the phone and I call people and I ask them these questions. I've done it in SurveyMonkey, I've done it in an email, and I have found the best way to get the answers is to pick up the phone, especially now when people are stuck at home and more people are quarantining. People want to talk, they answer the phone now. So those are the three that I use when I go to my Team Z. And, um, Okay, so I'm going to be transparent. I, as I said, there are days that I wake up and I you know, need to let people know that their shipment's coming. And I'm like, I'm gonna call and they're gonna cancel. And I've already had that mindset that they're going to cancel before I've even called them. It's crazy, we do this to ourselves. So what I do is I will go, well, lately, I have my values on my phone. Well, you can't see them because there's stuff there, but I have my values written on the phone and what am I, what are my values and family and health? And I just go to the mindset that I'm going to call them and they're going to reorder it. So if I go through and I follow the guidelines in the customer care, and if I find that they're not consistent, they're not staying on track, but I have used this customer care and I have followed up with them, then I know that I've done everything possible for to get this going and that I've done everything possible to keep them on track and it may just not be the right time for them and it has absolutely nothing to do with me. Um, they may renew, they may not. Um, it's not easy for me. I hate people saying no after they've been on it and I really try and get them consistent. I, sorry, if anyone does not believe in birth control, but I use this as a, I tell them, it's just like birth control. If you don't take it every day, it's not going to work. And I even told my 88 year old dad that when he first started on this. So, um, but in my mind, I feel like I can't save them and I'm failing and I can't save the world. And I have to remind myself that. So if you're doing your customer care and they are being consistent, it's okay, but you've got to keep this fun. They have put everything onto the freedom revolution. They have graphics with, you know, gummies take four a day and gummies take two a day and capsules and are you being consistent and drop zones. And if a geeky one like me can go on there and send out these graphics to people and put it on there and, you know, put something fun into there, anyone can do it because I'm as geeky as they come and sending those graphics was a challenge for me. The last thing I wanna leave you with, um, a man that I admire, and our fearless, fearless leader, Jay Martin, he has up on Juice Plus Insights, um, he has, well, you, it's called monthly features. And on here, he has something called Don't Spill the Grits. And you can go back and read the story. But he said, writers and talkers spill grits all the time. And you have to listen to these because these are so true. We are born with two ears and one mouth, right? Listen to people. God gave us a blackboard, but some of us didn't get an eraser. And I know that's me. Shut up and let them buy. Like, don't keep throwing it up. Everything you say beyond what it takes to make your point is an apology. One of my favorites. Today's attention span is faster than the speed of light. We know that. Um, it's the same thing for me. When you find a stopping point, it's too late. Like seriously, that's so me. I'm getting much better. A picture is worth a thousand words. So use those graphics that are on there. 
don't let your lawyer talk to God for you and kiss for keep it simple, silly, we'll say. And I came across these the other day and I thought this is all about how we talk to people with Jews Plus, how we follow up. Um, my favorite is shut up and let them buy or when you find a stopping point, it's too late. But seriously, when we stop, it's just the fear that holds us back. And fear stands for forget everything and run or face face everything and rise. So what fear are you going to choose that day? And if you're having a tough time, send me a text, you know, positive Pamelia, I'll get you going again, because chances are when you are stuck somewhere, I might be in the other room getting stuck on something and hearing from other people and getting them going is what gets me going because I literally thrive off of this community and all of you. We have five days, well, okay, we have four days left in this month. Terry put out a challenge of reach out to five people a day. If you don't have those five people, how about five follow-ups? Go to those people. I set them up in Teamsy. The follow-ups are coming up, and there's ones that you hadn't heard from who are just crickets, or they go in the witness protection program. Reach out to them and just say, hey, I thought of you because, you know, or we've got this great thing going with 15 free shakes. So that is my follow-up, and that is my challenge. And seriously, go read the monthly features about Jay Martin because they're hysterical and they apply to every aspect of this business. Wow. Yeah, okay, you guys, let's give it up for Camelia. That was so good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for shining. Um, this has been a really um, humbling month for me because every Monday night this month, uh, it was a sales coordinator who stepped up and did the training. And every single Monday night, the training has been spectacular. And Pamelia, an incredible, informative, fun program. Thank you, thank you. A um, couple things going on this week that I want you to know about. Thursday night, speaking of sales coordinators stepping up, Paula Culbra is going to be doing uh, a health program. Every Thursday night, this group of sales coordinators get together and they do a health program every single Thursday night. And this Thursday night, Paula Culbreth with her daughter, Athlete London, is going to be doing the health program. And so who do you know that has kids who are athletes and they want their athletic kids to perform? This is a program you're gonna to wanna to plug them into. And let us know if you want the image, the flyer for that event. Uh, it's gonna be spectacular. And next Monday night, we're going to get together again at 7 o'clock Central Time, and it's a team-up party. All the groups are getting together. We're going to celebrate the new QSCs. We have a couple new sales coordinators. Uh, I've got a guest speaker showing up, and there will be cash raffle. So you don't want to miss that. Make sure you mark your calendar. And I just want to just close with this. I was thinking about all the sales coordinators that showed up this month and really, really gave it their all. And I thought about a quote from Abraham Maslow. And Maslow is the one who created the hierarchy of needs. I'm sure everybody knows what that is. But he said, if you're planning on being anything less than you're capable of being, you'll probably be unhappy all the days of your life. Wow. Whew, that really hit me like a, that just really got me this weekend. And so what I know, it's so easy, guys. It's so easy to drift from day to day to day, right? And so I'm just going to ask you, you know, are you asking yourself this question? What am I capable of being? Remember, the quality of your life is dictated by the quality of the questions that you ask yourself. So what am I capable of being? And uh, maybe it's time to raise the bar. You know, don't let age or the time of day or money, money or COVID-19 or anything else, you know, get in your way. So ask yourself, what am I capable of being? And what do I want to do with the next 365 days? 
where do you want to be a year from now? Because I have seen such growth in the sales coordinators who took up the challenge and gave us everything they had every single Monday night this month. So what are you capable of being? Write it down, start pondering on it. All right, guys, I'll see you. If anybody has any questions, unmute yourselves. If not, see you next Monday night, a little bit of a party. Carrie, is there something after this tonight, like we had last week? No. Okay, wanted to check. Thanks. <laughs> Awesome job, Amelia. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Amelia. Yes. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.